Visa Fama Sapitatis, very, very important. Very, very important because uh, this is the Latin word for uh, uh, sanctity of fame, meaning to say that he was a famous man already, but we have to make this his being famous uh, with all the blessings of sanctity, and the sanctity is done through the service that he had rendered. And also to intensify really the public awareness on the life and works of Father Wilman to the end uh, that his name will be a byword in the Philippines as one who did much for the Filipino people. The construction of this building was an idea conceived by the Board of Trustees of the Knights of Columbus Fraternal Association of the Philippines or the KCFAPI upon the strong recommendation of uh, Monsignor Pedro Quitorio III, the media officer of the CBCP and the special director of the Knights of Columbus uh, Fraternal Association of the Philippines. There were many inspiring reasons mm -hmm. why we have to construct. Uh, first, uh, Father Wilman was the founder of the Knights of Columbus Fraternal Association in the Philippines. He was the father of the Knights of Columbus in the Philippines. And therefore, having dedicated himself, especially for the ministry of the Knights of Columbus in the Philippines, we have to put up a home for Father Wilman. A home that could really be a testament of our love for and uh, thanksgiving and gratitude to Father Wilman. And uh, a home which could uh, be a house uh, for the mementos uh, and uh, memorials uh, of uh, this great uh, man and a, a very holy priest uh, who had demonstrated the highest degree of values so connected and related to the work of uh, the order, namely humility, uh, poverty, uh, service uh, beyond measure and without measure, and therefore working so hard on uh, the, uh, on the uh, proclamation of uh, the four basic principles of Colombianism, charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism, to make it as a center really for the Knights of Columbus and the Philippines to always be with Father Wilman and therefore to imbibe all the time all his values and finally to comply with the requirement of the Fama Sanctitatis in relation to our process for the beatification of uh, Father uh, Wilman in order that he could be brought to the honor of the altar and finally later on for his canonization as a saint. When you say that it was through the recommendation of uh, the Board of Trustees, it is plainly for the reason that the Board of Trustees is the policy-making body of uh, the KCFAP. And once it is approved, it has to recommend the implementation of the plan and the uh, pursuit of certain uh, uh, processes in order that finally the construction of the building can be accomplished. So therefore, after the board had approved uh, the construction of the building, management was commissioned to undergo the process of uh, uh, looking into how the building will look afterwards, whether it could really reflect as a home of uh, Father Wilman. And so the, uh, the, 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 our, our uh, management lose no time in seeing to it that uh, the objective can be accomplished. So I understand that uh, it hired some architects uh, mm -hmm. and uh, entered into a series of uh, biddings for who will be the architect and uh, eventually who will construct the building. And after all of these things were done, the matter was returned to the board, one, for the approval of the plan, and the specifications, the architectural design, and second, for the funding requirement, how much money may be needed. Let's begin with uh, the Knights of Columbus. 
So she was the father of the Knights of Columbus in the Philippines. The construction of the building will serve the very purpose of uniting the three jurisdictions of the Knights of Columbus in the Philippines because that will become the center of many of their activities. And every time that they will go there and see Father Wilman, the Museum of Father Wilman, the Chapel of Father Wilman, they will dedicate all the time for Father Wilman. And therefore, in that case, their awareness, knowing Father Wilman is concerned and propagating further the virtues of Father Wilman. Casey Fappi can make the drive toward the beatification and eventual canonization of Father Wilman through the establishment of the National Executive Committee. It is national because uh, it will now cover the entire Philippines, especially the three jurisdictions of the Knight of, uh, Knights of Columbus and the Philippines. The, this committee is responsible for preparing the plans and programming all activities for the stronger pursuit of uh, the objective of uh, the canonization of Father uh, Wilman. Hence, we have many committees for this committee working separately. You have a committee on media, you have a committee on, uh, uh, on the printing of uh, memorials, a committee on uh, the printing of uh, papers, uh, of uh, documents concerning Father Wilman, and as a matter of fact, we have also radio program and TV program later on. Uh, we have a continuing, a series of continuing activities so the people will be enlightened more. On one, what is the objective really of uh, the cause? And secondly, on how people can actively participate in the pursuit of this cause. Therefore, it is a, it is a matter of sharing these activities, especially with the Knights of Columbus and with the youth, because we want the youth to really fully understand Father Wilman and for them to follow the virtues and values and the principles uh, which he pursued and uh, which really uh, uh, put him up closer to God. He has become, as a matter of fact, the light uh, in the lampstand and uh, the city set on a mountain to be seen by everybody, to touch the lives of all, especially for the rights of Colombia. There were uh, several, but to uh, just limit it to the uh, major ones, uh, first, uh, we felt that uh, it should be simple, yet complete and significant. Just like Father Wilman, as a person. Um, in this regard, we uh, contacted uh, Father Alex Bautista, who actually uh, was an architect, a professional one, uh, before he became a priest. And he is now famous uh, uh, in uh, being, uh, I would say, one of the best, if not the best, designers of uh, churches and chapels in the Philippines. Uh, second, we made sure that's, an, that's a, an area of consideration that uh, we will be compliant with all the regulations of the uh, Intramuros administration. Third, um, we also considered the, uh, the use, the utilization of space. Uh, we have to optimize it considering the prevailing 
uh, high uh, valuation, high cost of uh, land these days. Um, third, or rather fourth, no? the um, exterior design of the building. It has to be uh, uh, the same, or should I say, uh, replicating the existing design, uh, exterior design of the uh, of the uh, of the main building as well as the canteen. And uh, lastly, the cost. Of course, it cannot be prohibitive, no? and if it's got to be within uh, industry standards. The ground floor will house the, uh, the chapel, which is actually, for me, uh, the most important part mm -hmm. of this building. It's not just an ordinary chapel. It was so designed in such a way that despite the uh, traditional uh, exterior design, the chapel, if you look at the chapel, it is simple, yet complete and very significant. Uh, and by this I mean modern, something that you won't find in uh, churches, other churches and other chapels. Uh, it was so designed by uh, Father Alex that uh, it is complete with uh, sacristy, a uh, sacrarium, a confessional and even with a chaplain's uh, room, complete with, uh, with toilet and bath of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, uh, let me make mention also of the uh, main entrance. The main entrance actually has three large uh, sliding corgian type doors so that when you open it, the altar will be very, very visible from the outside. So if we have a big event, then <coughs> so many people can attend. No? Mm -hmm. Just by simply staying in our uh, parking area, they can all already uh, be part of the mass. Okay, going to the second floor, that's the uh, museum. Again, uh, it was so designed in, uh, in a way that it's modern. Mm -hmm. The walls are not the typical uh, the cajon type or the rectangular or square type. No? Uh, it looks like a, a flowing, it's like a flowing wave. That's the design of Father Alex. It's, uh, it's quite different, and yet uh, I would say uh, it's very, very attractive. No? And in this museum, you will not only find the, uh, the uh, manuscripts, the uh, mementos or uh, relics of Father Willman. No? There is also a portion here where you, where you will have a Sintra board and in this Sintra board, <coughs> there is a, uh, a, um, a, multi, a multimedia equipment, no? both for uh, audio and video. The second floor, meaning the, uh, which houses the museum, of course, mm -hmm. is also complete with a curator's room with a huge storage area for uh, important uh, documents and mementos. Third floor to be used for a um, a, uh, a wall of gallery for the Knights of Columbus uh, in the Philippines and uh, that's supposed to showcase the uh, of course the history of what has transpired in the past, uh, the leaders, <coughs> as well as um, a space uh, for uh, current uh, programs and activities. In the same token, there will also be a wall of, of history gallery for the KZ Papi. And then uh, the last floor, which is the fourth floor, um, this is a multi-purpose area. Mm -hmm. uh, so this can be used uh, for um, uh, special Hi. events mm -hmm. of KZ Papi, for KZ Fapi, for the Knights of Columbus, uh, including socials. 
I don't see any reason why it should not be open to the public because uh, the primary reason why this uh, edifice uh, was constructed is to be able to promote the, uh, the beatification of Father Willman and the best way to do it is to create the awareness and not just the awareness but uh, <coughs> to allow people to, uh, to see for themselves uh, this uh, this uh, building of Father Willman, yeah. and I, I think that's the uh, the best way uh, for the Knights of Columbus to uh, to manifest their support uh, for Father Willman. By cost. Uh, I would say all in, meaning uh, fixtures, furnishings, special designs, special equipment, appliances, even the security walls, mm -hmm. even the generators, um, even the CCTVs. It's a, it would approximate 26 million pesos. Allow me to invite all of you, members of the Knights of Columbus, to personally visit the Father George J. Wellman S.J. Memorial Building, a concrete attestation to the legacy of Father Wellman, who first organized the Order of the Knights of Columbus in the Philippines some 108 years ago, and likewise established the KC FAPI, the life insurance provider for all members of the Knights of Columbus 55 years ago. We owe it all to Father Wilman what we are as Knights today, and we owe it to him that we unite as one to promote his eventual beatification. Thank you. God bless. Vivat Jesus.